Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in on my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Today, we are coming on to play in the bitty journal that I am currently working on for the 1K giveaway. Thank you guys so much for being here. Not only that, for being just so supportive and encouraging, and I just wanted to kind of show my appreciation for you guys. Um, so yeah, the cover, she doesn't have a face yet. Um, this is Stamperia. Love it. Um, just really eclectic. I made some custom doily. I printed some images onto stationery. I love this paper so much. Stacy is such a blessing. Um, check out Two Sister Jam, her and Dana. They're amazing. I got this from her too. This from her too. She's just such a blessing. Um, some French rag paper printed an image onto the doily. Those are my favorite things to do is to print on various items, um, especially fabric as well. Um, so yesterday in my Facebook group, which I will link in the description box below as well, I did a live just playing with some tea bags. And so I really liked this one and it says earth laughs and flowers. And I thought that it was perfect for this journal. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the pocket. I printed this image onto this pocket as well. Anyway, that's what she's looking like. Oh, and Stacy and I did a live um, on Two Sister Jam and Savage Art. So please join both of those groups. Um, amazing ladies, amazing community. But again, save the drama for your mama. Little secret writing spot. So I printed this image onto this time card. I am going to put a cluster here and maybe some lace. Um, but this is just the base because, you know, that's what we were working on. Um, I did sewing and most of my pages have stitching around it. These little decorated paper clips that I love. We did these little tabs, created some tuck spots. I love this paper. Where's it at? I love that. So I had a hard time putting that in. But without further ado, we are going to take an opportunity to make... Um, I have 20 minutes, so we're going to do this fast. Some altered playing cards. I've been doing this for, I don't know, maybe a year. Found this fun little method. And it's transparent sticker or label. I get the matte, not the glossy, because that's what I prefer. And this is so, so easy and so, so beautiful. But again, we are going to try to zoom on through this because I want to make a collage journal card as well. So I'm going to take my playing cards and lay them down onto my sticky paper. I'm going to back with tea stain paper because I like these to be functional and beautiful. And what better way to make them functional other than backing them with tea stain paper for writing. Now the tricky part, well not really tricky, but the frustrating part sometimes for me is that it is sticky paper so while cutting it will get stuck on the back you can collage if you wish oh, ew, I don't like when it does that I like to flip them over and almost be surprised by the beauty that it creates and I'm going to be very mindful of the time because, again, like I stated at the beginning of this video, I have 22 minutes. And I don't, my phone, I don't know. I think it's this phone in general, but I refuse to switch to an iPhone. I'm that person that, like, you know, I know something. I don't want to do a new thing. Especially when it comes to like a device. I'm the same way with my printer. I spend so much money on ink. But I know how beautiful my images come out. I know how to run different things through my printer. And people are like, oh, you need to do the HP. Do the unlimited ink. And I'm just like, sorry. Can't do it. So for those of y'all that are wondering, I do have a Canon backloading printer. I found it at Walmart and it was literally anywhere between 60 and 80 bucks. Like, yeah. 
The first one I got, I'm in a neighborhood chat, and I asked in my neighborhood chat if anyone was selling a printer, and, you know, because I wanted a color printer, because I was literally buying digital kits and going to FedEx and printing them out. Yeah. Not the best method. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to ask in my neighborhood. Maybe somebody has one. So I'm trying to do this pretty quickly, but now I'm yapping. And I will take my corner rounder and round these. I'll show you my way of backing them, but I'm not gonna sew and do anything else with those on this video. I'll do it in the next one. That way I can jump to our um, collage journal card. Anyway, back to my story. A lady was like, yeah, you know, and it was the one that I have now currently. And she only wanted $20 for it. Best $20. And I got, trust me, I got my $20 worth out of that. And then, I don't know, one, one night I fell asleep thinking, I really want to, I don't remember what it was. I think it was... I think it was an image on something and the Lord so graciously and so wonderfully in the way that he does just told me run it through your printer and kind of just guided me through that. So, you know, I think that it's so amazing that in this community we have such wonderful creative minds that share their tutorials and, you know, help inspire us and give us ideas um, that get our creative juices flowing. And then, I mean, your work is always going to shine through that, right? Because once you start creating, you know how that works. One thing happens and then another thing happens and then, yeah. But that, I can say 100% without a doubt, I that was an original idea. And that came from the Lord. And I'm so thankful, you know? And I'm just like, I want to give me another original idea, you know? I want something original. Because we're all, we've all seen stuff somewhere. And I just think it's amazing. You know, we're all just inspired and here to inspire others. Isn't that what it's about? Okay. And then I might show you how I back. Because now I'm, I'm eight minutes in and I'm playing with my paper. If my storage space wasn't an issue, we would just keep on going. So sometimes I film, just so you know, a couple of videos back to back. And then upload them on separate days. Um, but I'm feeling like I want to get this, this journal done. Alright, so you see how the front looks so beautiful. And I love this method because then it can match whatever you're making, right? And you see how that kind of raised up some. The beautiful thing about this is I can take this. And flatten that out. I love it. And then the way that I add here, mm, I don't really want to use this craft paper, although I do love craft paper. Do I want to use it? I'll use this craft paper and it actually looks pretty good with that. Um, I love writing on craft paper. So I'm going to use my cement glue, better known as Scotch Permanent, not to be confused with Scotch Create. This glue is way stronger, way better. So that's, this is how I do it and it's kind of just like an assembly line. <laughs> Uh, if you go back, I have several craft with me's or tutorials doing this. 
not that you would need to watch this again. And the transparent sticker label you can find on Amazon. Some people have been lucky enough to actually find it at thrift stores. And then I'll actually go through and I will cut these. But I'm going to let that dry and then I'll sew them. So, I mean, you get the idea. Now, I'm going to move these to the side and we are going to bounce to making at least a journal card for our lovely journal. So I have these stained papers here and it's their index cards. You can leave the back as the index card, but I think I want to go ahead and back this with craft paper. And I'm doing this first, that way it's down and my glue can dry. And I think I want to use tissue paper today. Um, oh, I, I might actually want to use this. Okay, I do. So, Two Sister Jam wraps their orders up so beautifully. And I'm like, y'all gotta stop that. Because I don't want to open my items. I may get quiet as I focus on this. And it's not focusing because it's hard. Doing these are sometimes very, very relaxing and therapeutic. Um, and I do the same thing. I'm not going to use Mod Podge. I don't like the smell of Mod Podge and it makes my skin burn. Chemical sensitivity at its finest. And I'm okay if it... Okay, so I love that because I can still see those marks back there. I'm okay if it is not completely flat because I personally like the texture that it adds and I'm not worried about that if I was worried about that I would have cut it I know I'm probably gonna put a doily or a ruffle there I'm gonna flip this over and actually cut it and if you were concerned about that you would have cut it instead of tearing it or you know you can cut this down even further but right now we are just having fun I guess you would say altering in the next one Um, I think that that's absolutely beautiful. Paper, what do I want to use? I love music sheet on these. Okay, so I'm going to try to not get caught up going back and forth about what I want on it. Because again, I'm pressed for time. So I am just going to tear paper until I like what it looks like. Now my problem is I'm not going to want to cover any of that up. That's going to be a problem. This is this is where I struggle because it's so beautiful. I'm going to be using a two sister doily, I'm sure. I love these doilies so so much. really tie this in. Oh, okay. I'm kind of good on time. I'm looking for a music sheet. Vellum here. Don't want to use the vellum. That is literally just the base. But when it looks that beautiful, I, I know I'm not the only person that struggles with that. 
I'm sorry, I'm not even in frame. I'm just over here tearing. Now, I kind of like when they go in different directions, but that one's not wanting to do it anyway. And then I am literally just going to start gluing down or... Let's put... to sew around those edges and it's going to look absolutely beautiful and so finished but again working with limited time so we might not get that far but I will get this down got about five minutes it's the final countdown Thank you guys so much, the ones who have shared my, I was going to say Facebook group, but thank you for that, the people who participate in my challenges. Do I want it down here? Actually, kind of, no. Stick with the original plan. for a pretty good ink pad. I think we all need this reminder. Okay. And if I had my glue book, that would be helpful. I say glue book like I have one. Glue paper. down there. I'm going to do a ruffle down here. this out of the way. Put my scrap pieces back in my scrap bin for collaging. And let's see. I don't honestly want to dig through those right now. Where I'm looking for my sticker bin that might have some that I kind of already might want.
I like this one. Now, I'm okay if... Ooh, I did that like I don't ever have a problem with that. <laughs> don't be fooled. I'm okay if I don't get all of the sticker and some pops off. Oh, if, if I can speak right. Because then I'll just kind of snip it. And then we need a little one for here. I thought I was going to be on a roll. That would have been great. Then I will sew around the edges. And you have a pretty little journal card going to put a little ruffle there. So remember that you are inscribed on the palm of his hand. Okay. And you are enough. You are creative and you are uniquely special and beautiful um, to this world and in his eyes. Please join my Facebook group and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment so that I know that you're here. And thank you all for being here. Bye for now.